Hi, and welcome back here to episode 69. Um, you see, we're still waiting on the handlebars. Uh, we're getting the brakes all organized for the FXR. We're going to go back on uh, 2003 Mach 1 Mustang again today. And we're going to replace these headlights that are fogged up on us here. Um, I bought the same replacement ones. So I'm hoping to be able to send these ones back. Um, if not, maybe get them fixed. Because besides that, there's nothing wrong with them. Um, so I'm going to get set up and uh, we'll tackle them. I'll show you the new ones here. Here these ones are brand new, still uh, wrapped up. So we will uh, get set up and we'll get at it. So I got it viewed at the right side of the car, the right headlight there for right now. I pop the hood from the inside. So this is the headlight here. Um, we've got these rods right here that go down and pull back up we're going to pull them up we're going to set them aside and then now it should sneak out there it goes and you want to be careful this one's got some wires that aren't even connected could be an underglow kit the guy had on previously so now i'm just pulling out the bulbs Got to be careful because they're not that long, so. This one's being a little stubborn with me. I'm going to actually get a screwdriver and do that harness first on that one and then I will pull the the grommet out once I get the should just turn and pop out so it should there it goes There we go. So let's take a look at this. Yeah, that's what happened. What these wires are, um, he's got strobe lights that he disconnected. So there's a strobe light inside here. And that would be why it's filling up with moisture. Because it's getting uh, moisture up the bottom there. Um, that was a thing back uh, in the day. A nice looking light nonetheless. While you guys are watching the light bulbs, I'm just going to go and turn the lights on, make sure they're all working. Yep, they're working. So now I'll take the cellophane off the new headlight. So I'll put this in the picture here. So we're removing the, the wrapping off the brand new headlight. Now I'm going to plug everything back in as it was. And 
seems a little loose. I'm not sure why. Should go in right like this. not staying in there. not falling out, but it's just not staying in. And that could be how moisture is getting in it as well. It's, uh, you want it to be moisture fit, obviously. And when it can't be, that's how we're going to get moisture in it. the racetrack out there. Well, it fits right on there. For whatever reason, I just can't get it to go.
I'm putting the headlight, the bulb, right in. Trying to. It's just a rubber o ring. There we go, I got the bulb to go in fine, so I had to push it in itself in first. Now, the lock ring over top. So that one is in there. It was a lot tougher than I could imagine. Hence why I only like doing cars as a hobby. So I got that light back in. Now I'm going to slide these There we go. I'll turn the lights on now. That was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Oh, the blinker's not blinking now. Uh, so we'll pull it out now. And We'll take a look at that bulb. And this happens. And this happens. I don't know if I got a 75 ball. Doesn't look like it's blown. Unless we unplugged it somewhere.
I'm going to look for a bulb here. Sorry about this. So that I don't work on the cars too often. So I've only got a clear bulb for right now, but uh, that'll be better than nothing. I'll stop and pick up some 1157 uh, orange ones. There we go. That's uh, that side is done. Just looks like this pin should go down a little bit more. That's as far as it goes. Well now since we've learned from that side, and this side's already working, hopefully I'm going to shut the lights off here. We're going to slide the headlight out. side ones that are giving me a tough time. They're so close to the mounting stud. There's the Fast and the Furious stage where people put those fart can mufflers on and now it's the Hellcat stage where everyone uh, thinks they have a muscle car. This is very, very strange.
This is absolutely as strange as anything. Can't even get the plug out. So close. I literally have never had a light in my life. I've taken lights out on transport trucks, motorcycles, high end cars. This is absolutely freaking ridiculous. And I stay calm most of the time, but this is absolutely. Absolutely ridiculous. A little aggression, but we got it finally. Oh, jeez. That's absolutely insane. That bulb's no good, so we'll get rid of it. We're going to pop this bulb out. That was, honest to God, the hardest thing I've gotten out ever. Sorry, these bulbs are in 1157s and 3057s. Make sure they still are working. Yep. I'll get the other headlight now. Might have been a little easier if I did, I guess, uh, watch a video on these ones. But I never thought they'd be this hard. Literally. What is going on? The big one? There. Straight up and down.
just trying to plug it in here now. Okay, we got that now. Now we'll get the headlight plugged in. Hopefully. It's going to be the same thing again. The bulb just doesn't want to uh, go in. It's got a bit of a O-ring on it that I'm pretty sure has dried up. Put a little saliva on it. There's a little tang that needs to align it as well. There we go. Got it. So many different things here to plug a light in. It's absolutely insane as far as I'm concerned. But no one cares about the consumer. As long as the engineer makes money, that's all everyone cares about. company cares about. There we go. So I went with the brand new um, connector. I took the OEM one off. Felt like it wasn't, I guess there it was I really would have had to push it in, but it, I felt like I wasn't getting it. So I've got the one that came with the this headlight. these rods are all that old spin. I'll tell you that much I like that. I'll turn them back on now. And we'll see if they're working. Yep, looking good, looking good. So a lot more than I thought it was going to be. And then again, that's why I don't, uh, I don't work on them, right? Nothing wrong with that though. So like I say, this is a 2003 Mach 1 Mustang. Um, we're going to end that here. I'll uh, wipe down the headlights from where I was pushing on them and then I will uh, I'll close the hood and I'll park it out uh, outside there. Uh, once we get a couple more of these bikes gone, uh, we'll park her inside, but till then, uh, it's still cool and uh, it's been raining a bit, but uh, it's okay, it's a car. So, thanks a lot for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next time.